Hi folks and welcome to DevTrends. Today we're gonna talk about new application bundler called Parcel, fast and browser package managed called Turbo and the release of Font Awesome version 5. So let's start with Parcel. So Webpack is a de facto standard in the world of modern package bundlers. It serves all the needs of small and large applications, is being developed by awesome, really clever people and has solid sponsorship from famous bakers. But as any other tools, it has its downsides. Very few, but still. And the most infamous one is its overwhelming configuration. But this is not some kind of bug that can be easily tracked and fixed. This is rather an unavoidable sacrifice in order to provide rich tooling to handle any size of task of any intention. Yet it's complex. And that's why Parcel came out and got to the hype train almost instantly. So Parcel is fast zero configuration web application bundler that is aimed on getting things done in the first place. It uses worker trace to parallelize bundling tasks and comes with out-of-box support of JavaScript, HTML and CSS assets. And also it includes handy instruments for these types of assets like Babel, PostCSS and PostHTML. So let's see how it works. So let's create a new folder for our parcel demo. First we should install parcel package with the name of parcel bundler. Well, it's already installed in my system, so we just create a bunch of files for our new demo web application. So let's create index.html, index.js, that will be our main entry point of JavaScript application, and let's create index.css. So here we go. Let's make some basic uh, layout of this index within index.html let's save it uh, in index.js let's make some console login just for the demo purposes and then index.css let's color on the ground our body in black so here we include our CSS relative to our pass in file system, so it indexes CSS, and then we include at the end of the body our script tag, so it's a src index.js, and let's start parcel. Right in parcel index HTML as our entry file with HTML layout and let's navigate to localhost one two three four and you can see our index CSS are loaded appropriately properly sorry and you can see that our geo JavaScript assets are loaded properly as well. So if we see uh, in the layout there is link uh, one moment. there is uh, one length into the dist folder there is style sheet uh, there is our index CSS with all the styles bundled already and here is in our body there is a script tag with a JavaScript assets bundled as well. So, as well, uh, Parcel supports hot model replacements, so let's start it again and let's write some stuff here. Saving it and let's reload our server, let's delete this line. And you can see our modules is hot replaced just now so it's working as well um, among the other features of parcel there is uh, automatic code splitting as well so let's import so let's make some dynamic import like let's create module js and here we import 
let's import some function that returns module string. And in our index file, we import this module. Note that this is dynamic import, so it returns promise. So we wait for our, let's call it module function. And let's console log and execute our module function and let's see how it works here. Let's start parcel again index HTML. But you can see there are some errors still in parcel, so um, this is common error. That should be soon fixed, so we just um, remove index CSS file for now in order for it to be fixed. Let's restart our server. And you can see our module is imported, and as you can see, uh, all dynamic stuff you import with uh, import uh, keyword is imported like um, separate bundles, like separate chunks of code, and it's uh, placed by default into head with async uh, attribute into script element. So you can see there are two bundles at the moment. Uh, as for project structure, you can see there is a list folder where these files are placed and when you just want to build this project into production, you just run build index.html and it's being built into production mode, so there are some errors as well. But still it works. So worth noting that Parcel team has still plenty of work to do. It had major version 1 release recently, meaning it could be production ready, but it feels like it's not quite there yet. There are a bunch of issues on GitHub that need to be addressed, and I faced it a few of them myself. But still, using Parcel feels like a breath of fresh air. To start working, you don't need any config to struggle with. It's very intuitive and simply fun to use. And considering the fact that Parcel got just enormous feedback from developers all around the globe, we can be pretty sure it won't stop here. So there is another tool released recently that is related to packages and aimed at accelerating our developer workflow, but in slightly different way. And it's called Turbo and this is package manager similar to NPM but is made to work entirely in browser and targets fast builds and as seamless workflow as possible. Turbo has different package fetching and installment process than NPM or Yarn. Instead of getting entire package tarballs, Turbo managed to resolve and retrieve only files that are needed based on what's provided in package.json of the package being installed. This is done by pretty clever process utilizing system.js plus unpackage and JS deliver and is glued together with Turbo's own wrapper. You can check how it works in details following the links in the description below. And you can see Turbo in action right now on stackblitz.com. This is online IDE for fast-paced development of React and Angular apps. Also worth noting that author of Turbo plans to release it as standalone and open source package in the near future. Another good release-related chunk of news for today is that Font Awesome version 5 is finally came live. It has been in development for quite a long time and its Kickstarter campaign has raised a tremendous amount of funds, about 35 times more than has been initially set as a goal. Such great support was built thanks to really outstanding icons along with other tools that Font Awesome guys have been providing for a really long time. And now it just got 5 times better. Also, if not seen before, you should definitely check this classy video they made for their Kickstarter campaign. Frankly speaking, this is the one of the best marketing videos I've seen so far. So that's all for today, folks. All the links are in the description below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.